Hello friends, this video on mensuration part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 5. An ant is moving around a few food pieces of different shapes scattered on the floor. For which food piece would the ant have to take a longer round? Remember the circumference of a circle can be obtained by using the expression c is equal to 2 pi r where r is the radius of the circle. So here you have three different shapes. So basically the question says that the ant is moving. So let's say that this is the ant. So the ant is actually moving along these lines which are drawn here. So these are the three different shapes in which the ant is moving. So we have to find out in which case the ant has covered the maximum distance. So what do we need to find out? We need to find out the perimeter that is the total length of the boundary for all the three shapes and then need to compare for which the perimeter is maximum. So wherever perimeter is maximum, there the ant is traveling maximum distance. So let us start with the first one. So in the first figure, we have a semicircle that is a half circle plus the diameter. So if you want to find out the circumference in this case, let us call the circumference here as C1. So the circumference would be this much circumference. Now total circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. But in this case, we do not have the total circle. We just have half of the circle. So we divide it by 2. So this would be the total length of this boundary. But what about this one? So this line is nothing but the diameter of the circle. So 2 pi r by 2 plus the diameter. So that gives you the total length of this figure. So this is equal to pi r plus diameter is equal to twice the radius that is 2 r. So this will be equal to pi into radius is given as 1.4 because diameter is given as 2.8 so half of 2.8 would be 1.4 plus 2 into radius that is 2 into 1.4 so this is equal to the value comes out to be 7.196 meters so here we have considered pi as 3.14 now your values might slightly vary depending on whether you consider pi as 3.14 or pi as 22 by 7 so there would be slight difference Okay, now let's, in the second figure, let's try to calculate the circumference. So here again, the circumference would be the total length of all the three sides. So each side is 1.5. So this is 1.5, this is 1.5. And how much is this? This is given as 2.8. So in this case, the total circumference would be 1.5 plus 1.5 plus 2.8. So that means we have covered all the three sides and in this side again we have a semicircle whose perimeter would be given by 2 pi r divided by 2. So this is equal to 1.5 plus 1.5 plus 2.8 plus pi into r. So that is pi into r is 1.4 because diameter is 2.8. So half of diameter is 1.4. So this value comes out to be approximately 10.2 meters. Now let's look at the third scenario. So here again we will find out the circumference or the perimeter whatever you call it. So here again you have this length as 2, this length as 2. So 2 plus 2. Okay, now I think by mistake I am writing everywhere meter, but these are given in centimeters. So here this is 2, this is 2 and what about this one? This is also a semicircle. So for semicircle it would be 2 pi r divided by 2. So this is 4 plus pi into r, r is 1.4 centimeters. This is equal to 8.396 centimeters. So now if you compare the three values, which is the greatest? So the highest value is C2. That means the ant have to move, have to take a longer round in the second scenario. Question number six. Diagram of the adjacent picture frame has outer dimensions is equal to 24 centimeters by 28 centimeters and inner dimensions as 16 centimeters by 20 centimeters. Find the area of each section of the frame if the width of each section is same. 
Now we have to find out the area of each section. So this is one section for that matter. So there are basically four sections of the frame. Let's call this is a section one, section two, section three and section four. So if you look at the width of each section that is the same. Now let us try to find out their areas. Now looking at this can you tell me what is the shape of each section? Exactly, it's a trapezium. So we need to find out the area of the trapezium. So let's calculate the area of trapezium 1. So area of trapezium 1 would be half into height. So what is height? Height would be this height. Now this height is nothing but width of the frame. Right? And this width is same for all the four sections. So how do we find out this width? Now here if you see this total thing is 24 and this total thing is 16. So if you subtract 16 from 24, what do you get? You get this plus this. So let's subtract 16 from 24. So you get 8. So 8 is this distance plus this distance. Now both these distances are equal. So that means this is 4, this is 4. So what is the height? The height is 4 centimeters into sum of the parallel sides. So one parallel side would be this. So how much is this? This length is 20. The other parallel side is the bigger one. So this distance which is 28. So therefore it is 2 to the 4. So 2 into 48 which is equal to 96 centimeter square. So this is the area of trapezium 1. Now if you look at trapezium 1 and trapezium 3 they are exactly identical. Therefore area of trapezium 3 is also equal to 96 centimeter square. Now what about trapezium 2? Let's find out its area. So area of trapezium 2 will be equal to half into height. So height again would be the same 4 centimeters into sum of the parallel sides. So one parallel side would be 16. The other parallel side would be this which is 24. So 16 plus 24. So this would again be equal to 2 into 40 which is equal to 80 centimeter square. Now on similar lines the area of trapezium 2 and area of trapezium 4 would be equal because they are exactly identical to each other. So area of trapezium 4 will also be equal to 80 centimeter square. So 1 is 96 centimeter square, this is 80, this is 96 and this is 80 centimeter square respectively. So here in this problem the catch was only to find out this height of the trapezium which is nothing but the width of the frame. So how did we find this? The outer length was given as 24, inner was given as 16. So 24 minus 16 is 8. So this 8 is this width plus this width. Now we know that width for all the sections are the same. So that means this is 4, this is 4 such that 4 plus 4 is 8. So in this fashion we found out the width of each section of the frame. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.